Jake, too. Jake is going to flip if we don't eventually show the pictures. Ah, yes. <gasps> We've got pictures of the lab. This is going to be pretty freaking cool. Don't worry, Jake. I wasn't ignoring you. We were going to get to it. We were going to get to it. I know, I know you're petty like that. Maybe I'll delete the photos. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. So, guys, the reno. The reno of the lab is almost done because we were keeping Ooh, it keeping it pretty simple. Keeping it pretty simple here. So we've got uh, some fresh paint on the walls. We've got some fresh access control going on. We've got uh, fresh security cameras in there. Got that ubiquity goodness. What else we got going on here? Oh, I think this is more of the uh, that this is probably POE for the access control. I'm guessing. It's sound. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll show that. We'll show that. We're just in the front entryway, Kellen, and we haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, the floors. I think we decided. Are, are we changing the carpet downstairs? No, we're. We're just, just leaving it. We're just redoing the, the stairway. Just the stairwell. Yeah, the stairwell carpet is shockingly ugly. Yeah. So this room no longer looks so oppressive <laughs> anymore, <laughs> which is which is nice. Fortunately, whoever was in here before actually did a lot of power and networking stuff that we just now don't have to do. That's what I said. Oh, Jake says that's the oh that's the fiber run. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, okay. I said that earlier. I said it's, yeah. So uh, this is where the fiber terminates. Oh, this is where the DMARC is. Okay, so we got fiber into the building. Uh, this is where it was run to, so we would have had to have our networking equipment just sitting right in the front entryway, which would have been really stupid. <laughs> so uh, Jake and the boys, um, they... What, 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 it, what, what is this? Did you guys just... Uh, you didn't splice it or anything, right? It's just like a coupler? I think they just coupled it, and then they ran it over somewhere else. We'll see that in a little bit. So it kind of runs above us. In fact, I think it runs along this cable management line right here. Uh, so they painted, I believe the ceiling might have been already black in here, but they painted the walls, so it looks a lot nicer in here. And then out in the, uh, in like the warehouse, in what will actually be the lab, um, we painted, so it looks a lot nicer in terms of like colors. You guys won't see this part above, but what you will do is you will hear it. Yeah. Uh, we used the same like cellulose spray or something very similar to what we did, uh, what we coated our existing studio with. And man, does it ever make a difference. Even without any of the equipment in there, you can actually carry on a conversation now instead of it just being like a ridiculous amount of reverb to the point where you can barely understand your own, your own voice. Um, yeah, here's was, this from the alternate angle. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was really bad. I like the orange accent, by the way. Yeah, right? Even though it's just like a little splash, I think it's good. Yeah, I just want it to have a little bit of LTT, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, Yvonne did the actual color scheme. I was like, hey, I just want like a little bit of orange and kind of grays and dark colors yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And she made it She made it happen. That's good stuff. So, yeah, it looks awesome. Um, goes all the way over here, over by the door. Uh, okay, yeah, there you go. Let's see if we're heading upstairs. Yeah, there you go. So the paint upstairs makes this part look a lot nicer as well. One of the things I noticed when I was up in this room today is that the HVAC is crazy loud in this room. So if we were going to have any hopes of doing anything acoustic related inside the office space, I think we might just um, need to give up on that. It's <laughs> Super loud. Part of the problem, though, might be that they've got it running full tilt right now because uh, part of the curing process for that um, insulating and acoustic spray is that it off gases a lot of crap. So you want it just yeah. pumping everything out of there. Yeah. Um, what you well, what you want ideally is you want um, you want to do it in the summer. You want to open up your bay door and you want just hot air Big fans, circulating. Yeah, yeah pumping. Uh, Jake says the furnace is like right there. The HVAC probably going to have to be boxed. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure all that stuff out though. Give us time. Here's our sick, sick networking closet. By the way, great job of the cable management, Jake. It looks gorgeous, gorgeous. I actually don't think he did most of it. I think most of it was one of our new guys who is still on probation. So, um... Yeah, I shouldn't give maybe shouldn't give maybe Jake too much there's credit a, for the the nitty gritty details. There's some comments in the chat that that little balcony thing, um, with the with the little Hobbit door below it, uh, should yes. have a fire pole. Mm. So the problem with that idea, I mean, aside from it being stupid, <laughs> is that um, 
It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do I need? Uh, no, there's like insurance problems. Here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really, it's really not going to be a thing. It's not going to be a thing. Jake says I replaced the cables with small patch cables. By the way, Jake, I saw the green patch cables that you got for the pink rack. I'm not sure if I was supposed to see those yet, but I saw the box of them and I'm extremely excited. <laughs> so we're going to have the uh, like the mesh front door, the pink mesh front door, and then there's going to be just like green patch cables behind it. It's going to awesome. be freaking awesome. Nice. Yeah, I'm super excited. 